Hello and welcome to Infinity. One of the problems of editing is that you sometimes want to edit one aspect of a picture and end up sort of hitting something else that you don't want um, to happen. So for example if we just zoom into this one, here we go, if I wanted to say get rid of some of these wrinkles down here and I used a clone and say so I alt click down here and sort of paint up there. Um, I'm painting away the shadow of the glasses as well and, and it also doesn't work quite much because I'm losing the colour or the texture or whatever. So Control Z, I can undo that. And what we'll do is what's called frequency separation, which is filters and frequency separation. And this is what we see with this. And uh, what we have with this, we can change a radius. We'll look at the moment. The feature protection tolerance, we'll forget about that. We don't need that for now. And mirror, this one goes, shows you two halves of the picture or with an overlap that you can drag backwards and forwards or two in one. What we have here, if I zoom into this, is you have a picture on one side here where we've separated out the textures in it, this. So it's mostly grey, but you can see where the lines are. And here, this side is blurred, and that's exactly what does happen to it. So if I turn this all the way down, the picture's all on this side, and this is just grey. And as I turn this up, it's sort of the detail sort of transfers to the left side. If I go too far, turn all the way up, there's only less a bit of a blur over here, and pretty much most of the picture has gone over here. So what we do is to get the right balance of texture this side and the colour and shape the other side, is I turn the radius up until I'm losing detail, key detail. So let's look at the end of the nose, look at the detail here, the pores and so on. So as I turn that up, I wait until the pores kind of disappear. There they go. See that point there? That's about the right position you want to be. So if I drag this across, see the pores are over here now? Then all I need to do is hit apply. And this is going to produce two layers. It's called high frequency and low frequency because this idea of frequency separation. I'm an old engineer and doesn't quite fit as to what Einstein frequency to be, but that's okay. High frequency is texture detail. Low frequency is like colour and overall kind of shape. So the idea is, is we edit one or other of these to get rid of or modify texture or colour. So for example, if I wanted to get rid of, see that little blemish there, see that red mark there? I could take a piece from over here, like a clone it and put it on there, but I take the texture with it. But if I go to this one here, I'm going to turn the top enough so I can see there's a bit of that mark here. I could come over here, Alt, click here, and then there. And I've then, that little red mark's disappeared. But if I turn the layer back on again, the texture of the skin is still there. Likewise, if I wanted to edit, say, some of these things up here, the, um, the pores up here, I could Alt, click up here and paint down there. So I'm just copying those across. And then if I turn the bottom on to see that again, see I've moved that. But look, I've actually copied a bit of the crease and things up there. So I'll control Z to undo that. Um, one of the better uh, brushes to use is the healing brush down here. So I right click here, it's that one there, the top on the healing brush. So it's the same idea, alt click, and copy, but it's a bit more intelligent. So I can say Alt click from up here. I'm on the high frequency layer here, so I'm copying texture. I can paint down there and see it comes out quite nicely. It's sort of an intelligence. It's like cloning with AI. So, and I just switch between these two. So a bit more texture, get rid of wrinkles. So I'll Alt click down, say down here, and then I can paint over that. And there you go, it gets rid of the wrinkles and it leaves behind the shadow from the glasses there and so on. I can do something the same up here and so on. And you can keep doing that, switching between the two 
and copying what you want to improve going either to the high frequency or to the low frequency and there and, and this this picture this method is used a lot by a lot of people who improve photographs and magazines and things like that so there's a whole retouching industry based around this you can use it for other things like landscape it's the most common that method though and you see where it's used is in portraits there you go that's what frequency separation is and basically how to use it there's more things which we're going to talk about in other videos but for now thank you very much for watching